Hello! Hello, is this crazy cow lady? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi. Uh, do you prefer, is that your preferred name? Or do you have a name you'd rather uh, me uh, talk to you at? Address you at? I usually just go by Sarah. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so no I, worries. I Hi, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Uh, officially, uh, through voice. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> thank you, thank you for thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. So, Sarah, what are your pronouns uh, for everybody uh, at she, home? She, her. She, her. Wonderful. Fantastic. Well, we're happy for you to be here, Sarah. Um, where do you where are you coming from, by the way? What part of the world are you uh, are you based in right? Now? Germany. Germany. Wow. So it's pretty late over there for you right now, huh? Yeah, it's like eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Still fine. It's fine. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, let's see, I'm just loading up Patchwork Ego right now. Um, you could hear it. I think everyone just heard it. <laughs> um, I will just uh, full screen that. And um, I will share the screen with you. Great. See it? And then we are just going to hop right into it. Uh, One second here. Right. So, transition to Hatchwork Ego. Yes, and thank you, Improv, uh, for coming by. Um, also, 28 viewers. Wow. Thank you for the new people that have just showed up. We really appreciate it. Um, transition here to Patchwork Ego. Um, yeah, uh, in case you're wondering why we're all here, why I'm doing 12 hours of NaNoRano 2022 entries, it's um, because I'm raising uh, money for the Campaign for Sovereign Equality organization based in the U.S. South um, that helps LGBTQIA plus folks um, with legal aid and mutual, excuse me, mutual aid. They're a great organization. They do a ton of great work. Um, I'm a big fan of them. And... Yeah, we've already hit our $200 goal that I uh, wanted to hit us for, I wanted to raise um, by the end of the stream. So now we're trying to double it. We're trying to go for $400. Uh, so if you're able to uh, donate at all, any amount matters. Any amount would be great. Um, you know, uh, $10, $5, $1. We've gotten donation amounts of all different shapes and sizes. So... If you're able to donate any money at all, it's very appreciated. Thank you so much. And if you're not able to donate and you just want to hang around, chat, uh, watch um, some cool games, you're more than welcome to do that too. Um, and feel free to share the donation link and share the stream link and have fun. So, Sarah, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Let's just hop right into Patchwork Ego and you can kind of talk about... Um, kind of your conception of the game. So so what is the premise of Patchwork Ego, for those who don't know, and uh, how did you come up with the idea for it? Okay, um, this is going to be a, a bit of a story. Um, <laughs> we did a game for Spooktober, um, centered around a main character with anxiety, because I personally struggle with um, some types of social anxiety and we have some other people that also struggle with all kinds of things so we wanted to make a game about these things and um, some people really liked um, our main character and uh, shipped her with another character in the game and were asking about them and saying stuff like oh yeah I wish they got together and um, I don't usually do romance really <laughs> um, but since we got all this feedback I decided to ask the team if they wanted to come together again and make a sequel. And at first we wanted to do this for Valentine's Gem because we saw that that was a thing that happened the previous two years, I think, but then that didn't happen. So we moved it back um, to Nano Reno and the whole team could make, could make that month as well. So we did that instead. Um, since it's no longer Valentine's Gem, I didn't quite go with the romance as much anymore. <laughs> yeah. We still fair. get to like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, you still get to like hang out, choose to hang out with um, 
one of three different characters. Like you spend the visual novel with three characters. You can um, choose to spend more time with any of the three and um, get to know them. And it does lead into a sort of romancy end. So we at least did that. And you definitely get to explore the relationship of the main character with different people. That's awesome. That's really cool. Um, it's now more of a dark urban fantasy type thing, just like um, our Spooktober entry. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think I mentioned its name. It, um, it's Perfection Paper Thin, mm -hmm. which cool. was also like dark urban fantasy slash yeah. horror. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Feel free to link, by the way, both of those games oh, yeah. in Twitch chat. Um, and yeah, I agree, Florsim. The UI UI is very cool looking. Um, it's very eerie, and it does work well um, with the sprites background. We try to make sure that you can play this game without having to play the first game, like Paper Thin. So um, you can play Patchwork Ego first and then play Paper Thin as a sort of prequel instead. Um, we had some people that never read Paper Thin proofread uh, Patchwork Ego just to make sure that they get what's going on. That's good. That's a really smart way to approach a scene. Not have it be too serialized if you don't want someone to have not played the first game. Yeah. Not everything can be Marvel, folks. Not everything can be a visual novel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I link both games. <laughs> great, fantastic. Um, yeah, and I'm going to link... Um, by the way, all the games, all the NaNoWriMo games. It's a blinding spell on you. Of course you can't see the stairs. I'm so sorry. Wait a second. So who did the voice acting for the game? How was the casting process for, for each of the characters? <laughs> Actually, um, <laughs> we had five voice actors for Spooktober. I just sort of reached out to people and asked them, and everyone just said yes. <laughs> and um, they worked great for the the characters there um and so for this one while we exchanged a bunch of characters like only the main character and one other character stayed for this one nice. but we kept the voice actors like we asked them if they wanted to uh, join us again and they said yes so in some cases we even specifically no picked no characters to way. fit the voice actors like whatever they like to play uh did i just see lip flaps oh my god Okay. Whoa, <laughs> yes. that's awesome. We have one artist that um, really enjoys uh, frame by frame animations. Just, and he just animated the sprite. She's also blinking and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. He also added some really cool um, uh, general actually, effects like spells and stuff. Uh, that's actually He's in chat. <laughs> yes. Oh, is that uh, Illuminos? Oh, yes. Illuminos. Fantastic job, Illuminos. Oh, my God. Great job with the sprite work. Yeah, so we have a dedicated artist just for character art, and then Illuminos takes that and animates it, <laughs> which is amazing. I like the shades of green in Rose's hair. Oh, uh, um... Not the composer for this game, but our previous composer, who had a lot to do this month, so he couldn't compose this time. He yeah. actually wanted the green streaks. <laughs> he was very insistent. <laughs> so who was the composer for this game, then? Um, last time in Spooktober, we had a different composer for the intro and uh, outro song, and he composed all the songs this time. Awesome. So, how long would you say, for those that um, might be interested in playing it? No cookies a long, then? like two to three hours. Um, oh, wow. It's got three, three routes, basically. Like, it splits somewhere in the middle, roughly. Um, it does come together sometimes for some scenes, um, but there's three different endings and some alternate scenes based on who you choose to spend time with. So, I don't know how long a full run is, but I'd say maybe just getting to one ending maybe two hours that's that's pretty meaty for a game jam game that's pretty impressive wow yeah we had a very tight uh, schedule like <laughs> we 
really sprinted the, the writing pro process, then speed ran the first editing um, wave. Then we just had to finalize the voice lines first because wow. people need to record them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we edited, yeah, yeah. And, and then we edited like the internal monologue afterwards. Wow. Midnight Serendipity in the chat says two to three hours is pretty accurate. Hello, Midnight. You're welcome. Welcome. We're here playing um, playing this game, and I have uh, Sarah with me, and we are raising money for the uh, campaign for Southern Equality. Right? The Southern United States, it's an organization that helps raise money, uh, excuse me, an organization that helps provide uh, legal aid and mutual aid, uh, LGBTQIA plus folks out. Um, we've hit our $200 goal, thankfully, um, but we're trying to get double that. We're trying to get $400 by the end of the stream now, by the end of this 12 hours. I think we can do it. We're able to donate. Anyone Rose, watching, able to donate any amount. Please feel free to help out. With any amount help. What can I do for you? So Emma seems like a character, is like an off-screen character. You go, Emma, are we going to find... Is there going to be a sprite for Emma we're going to see coming up, or...? So in awesome. Paper Thin, we didn't give her a sprite at all because oh, okay. while she does have like a very strong character with her whole anxiety and everything, um, so you can't just self-insert, we still wanted to leave it kind of open, um, give people yeah. the chance to just imagine her how she they want to. Yeah. But um, now, since we have the whole um, getting, to, getting to know yes. people thing going on, yeah. we wanted her in the CGs. So we still tried not to show too much of her. Um, if you look at the game page, her like we have little character cards that our UI artist made last minute with some other members of the team, which yeah. looks super cute. Um, <laughs> they're amazing. Um, yeah. The one for Emma only has like a blurred picture, which was sort of the compromise between getting her in into the CG with the with the characters that she meets, yeah. um, and not showing too much of her. Yeah. That may, that's a really good approach. That's a really cool, interesting approach for a main character that you want to be player defined, but still not, but still needs to be in the story. Yeah. All right. I'll send them to you as soon as I can. I can't get over the split flap. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we'll. I think we'll make it to the time skip animation, which I absolutely love. Yeah, it's on auto right now. So, if you want me to. to get past some stuff to so we can see that I can I think it'll be it, it'll come up soon okay cool also yeah, patchwork Emma, egos are really good <laughs> that's also thanks to our previous composer <laughs> like, he um he did the like he came up with the story with me yeah. he brainstormed a lot and he also came up with the title totally it has did several different meanings <laughs> <laughs> like within the story mm -hmm. it relates to several things awesome music's getting very like do 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 yeah at some point I was like I need a drone where it's just like yeah. drones menacing me <laughs> <laughs> drones menacing at first it was like a five second loop and yeah. we were like okay this doesn't work we need <laughs> like 20 seconds yeah <laughs> Also, 27 viewers in the chat. Wow, thank you so much for everyone that's joining to watch it. Patchwork Ego. Um, yeah, like I said, we're raising money for the campaign for Sovereign Equality. If you're able to donate any money at all, click on the link post in the chat and donate. Um, we hit our $200 goal and we're just trying to go far beyond it. Oh man, the atmosphere in this game is top notch. Top notch. That's good. <laughs> I think our artists did a great job. Yeah, and besides your artist oh, and your composer, is... oh, there it is! Oh, <laughs> so amazing! <laughs> who, who did that? Who did that uh, little animation? Luminous. <laughs> oh, nice, Luminous! Congrats, Luminous! That was amazing. Um. Oh, look at this character, Artur. 
this is the one that people absolutely loved in Paper Thin. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Artur is a returning a returning character. Yes, yes, him and Emma. Cool. Well, 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 how the tables have turned. I think uh, people also really, really, really loved the the accent. <laughs> Tasty's doing a great job. <laughs> Shout out to all the voice actors. Yeah, for real. Shout out to every voice actor that's worked on any of these Nano Reno games from Portrait of a Texas Family to The Lovers Anonymous to this one to uh, Patrick Ego. What a great job. Voice actors contribute so much to a project. Yeah, we, we have them all linked on the game page. They're all amazing people. Like, this project completely exploded because I hadn't done something with this many different endings before in a jam and I had been kind of good at guessing how many words come out of a uh, an outline mm -hmm. and with this one both me and the person brainstorming with me we completely misjudged it and we had so many lines for the voice actors it's insane oh, wow uh, no how many lines did you end up having for the voice actors if you have, if you remember an exact number uh, like Sam Slade who plays Emma had over 300 lines which is absolutely insane damn wow for a game jam game that is wild yes, yes. wow so that's that's one thing I won't be doing again like splitting <laughs> the story this much just to save the poor voice actors from overworking themselves yeah for real <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> oh, no. I Well, I mean, the results speak to themselves. Speak for themselves, though. I think... I feel like the... I mean, I've seen this game at the top of the itch page for most popular. Like, Nano oh. Rano 2022. And, so I feel like uh, people are definitely playing it. Enjoying it. And it wasn't you. I hadn't noticed. I've been so busy this weekend. I barely <laughs> checked out that page. That's fair. That's fair. I just see it like Patrick Ego in like the top two rows. So. Wow. I think people are playing it and enjoying it. But I think it's also, you know, you this, the sequel. So a lot of people want to see the story continue. Previous game. Let's hope so. And I also hope that some people I'm maybe read this ideas. and then think, hey, I want to read Paper Then. Exactly. I want to read Paper Trust in my judgment. Nice. It worked. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got one customer, one one reader, one player. So. Amazing. Our um our Arthur line sadly couldn't get finished, so we're gonna have to update this. Um, like in our audio team, we have we had several people catching COVID. Oh no! So, <laughs> yeah, it, it was. I think only the the audio audio team, but yeah, that just slowed everything down. Um. We had mm. the person that mixed the voices um, yeah. joined the team kind of late when I was just like, okay, we need more people because, yeah, <laughs> COVID hit. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, shout out, shout out to them. Um, they're linked on my itch page as well, like on the Patchwork Ego page. A hundred percent. Yeah, we'll be adding. Or like, up, like some of the voices um, have only been normalized, not mixed. So mm. we'll be upgrading this stuff throughout. I think the next week or so. Got it. Um, yeah, that's just life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. I mean, that's what updates and patches are, for, right? Exactly. Um, Illuminos and uh, Florissant, thank you so much for joining the stream. Uh, Florissant, I know you're going to be back because you're going to be on the stream uh, later today. <laughs> Uh, Illuminos, ha you have a good rest of your night. Thank you so much. And um, I'm sorry if you weren't able to donate. I know uh, PayPal is kind of, you know, can be a little weird for some people, but uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for stopping by. All right, we are at, I just checked our new goal, and we are at $235, everyone. We are slowly but surely making our way, um, yeah, to uh, our goal of $400 by the end of this. Um, Again, she tries to wound me, pretending it's strangers. We were past so what's on, Mer Midnight Serendipity asks, what's on deck for the night stream-wise? Well, that's a good question. Um... But I'm gonna wait until uh, 
you get through this dialogue. How long? How much longer do you think this dialogue is going to go on for? You get to a place where I can kind of make come to a little bit of an end. Uh, Sarah, do you, do you have an idea, or or is this uh, dialogue exchange pretty much going to be going on for a little bit? Looks like you're still there, um, so. let me see. Oh no, they're yeah, they're going to meet the third person that you can choose to. Nice. The three people you can choose to hang out with. Um, uh, Rose, Arthur, and then the next person we meet. Um, nice. So we're the, gonna meet. Uh, is this is the third person, person the the person that uh, the Fafo? Hello, the Fafo. Welcome. Uh, oh, the Fafo hi. says, "I hope Basti is in Ash where he go." Oh no, he's not. He's from, he's from Paper. Oh. <laughs> Fafo also um, sometimes streams my games. Oh, wonderful! Hello, Fafo. Well, thank you for joining the stream. I appreciate it. In case you're wondering. Why we're here, we're raising money for the Campaign for Southern Equality, an organization in the American South that helps LGBTQIA plus folks with legal and mutual aid. They do great work. We're here playing uh, 12 hours of NaNoWriMo entries um, in order to help raise money for them. We've hit our $200 goal and we're trying to hit 400 by the end of the 12 hours. So, want to donate? Uh, any amount helps. Any amount at all really does help. Thank you for joining. Um, and it's glad to, it's glad to see you have a nice little fan base. Uh, uh, Sarah, it, it's it's. Uh, how long have you been making games for? In general, he's 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 a he's a friend of mine. Like a, oh, okay, um, that's fair. But still, like a, how how long have you been making games account. for? Um, last Valentine's, <laughs> we joined a Valentine's jam. It wasn't even a visual novel jam. We made a visual novel in three days. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, and then we just kind of continued with that. We'd been working on our own bigger visual novel for a while before that, um, but then we just discovered gems, and we've been doing gems every now and then since then. But we're also still working on our bigger project, which is just a passion thing that Illuminous, myself, and our uh, previous composer started together and now I think we have some more friends on board. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, actually, Paper Thin and this are both set in the same universe, which really helped with the writing because uh, just having an established world that you've been writing for for like two years or something just helps uh, exactly. make everything feel more coherent. It really does. It really, really does. As someone who's created their own like universes, I definitely... Once you have the character voices down, and the place, and the setting, and the world, like it really helps you. How are these characters? Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is actually one of two backgrounds where we just didn't have time anymore, so I just mm -hmm. image edited something. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do what you gotta do in a game jam sometimes, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So. We have two great uh, background artists, but I moved the characters around too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think Spooktober is going to have a lot less backgrounds just to, um, I don't know, not overwork them if they want to join again. That's fair. <laughs> and there's our last character. Ooh, question, question, question mark. Let's see who this character is. Wasting time. Emma, that's Wyatt. Wyatt, Emma, watch her until I'm back. She's our prisoner. So be nice to her, okay? Wyatt looks very... Modern. Looks oh very, yeah, this is um, very very chic. Glasses yes, and hair. Set in modern day Germany, like oh! 2019 ish. Okay. This is where we settled it. But we started writing the universe before COVID, so <laughs> that's sure. not a yeah. thing. <laughs> oh, okay, so this takes place in present day. Okay, I wasn't 100 yeah, percent yeah. sure. Got it. I'll be right back. Do both games take place in present day or? Yeah, like roughly a year apart. Nice. So, uh, what were your big inspirations for both this game and Paper Fit? Like in terms of visual and story influence, other VNs or any outside influence? Well, um, for Paper Thin, it was definitely, um, well, the perfection part was about, um, first of all, the anxiety of, um, 
feeling like everyone around you is judging you constantly for what you do and feeling like you always have to be perfect for them to not hate you, <laughs> kind of. Um, but then also perfectionism, like never being happy with, for instance, the visual novel you make or like the music you write for it or the art you make, yeah. um, stuff like that. Just different angles of, um, of a theme of perfection. Yeah. Um, that was just kind of born out of the first idea of this anxiety. Like, how can we twist this? How can we give different characters different angles on this topic? And then um, this one actually started out with the theme of obsession. In there. Um, it's still somewhat in there if you look for it. Like, the different characters are all obsessed with different things. And there's also, like, an eldritch entity linked to obsession in this game. But then also some, some other stuff just slipped in. <laughs> of course, yeah. Of course. As, it, as one is to do. <laughs> but yeah, like generally the characters just struggle with different um, issues in life, pretty much. And are just like Rose is trying to figure out who she is um, as a person. I don't want to spoil too much. Um, Wyatt struggles with um, just getting a lot in life uh, given to him due to having rich parents. And uh, he really wants to prove himself and show that he can be someone as a person and yeah. um, can achieve something without relying on that. And then. Yeah. Um, Arthur is in this game um, going through pretty much a rough oh. breakup <laughs> yeah. and um, he's like this really super strong warlock that usually doesn't have any problem with anything um, but now there's personal issues <laughs> and suddenly yeah. he's struggling yeah. and then Emma Emma is being Emma <laughs> <laughs> Emma's being Emma <laughs> she's just uh, she's less anxious now. She definitely grew through uh, Paper Thin. She learned a lot there. Um, yeah. She sometimes slips back, but uh, she's grown a lot more confident, and she is now helping others um, also grow and um, feel better about themselves, I guess. A hundred percent. Pretty stressful then. Well, on that note, as Wyatt relaxes with a nervous chuckle, um, <laughs> breaking eye contact. I think oh, we're Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, <laughs> the UI. <laughs> we have yes, the UI. The UI like, yes. Like if you click on like the preferences or the handbook real quick, just because we haven't seen that yet, and it looks so amazing. And <laughs> oh yeah, this is beautiful. This is great. <laughs> like we couldn't just skip that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And there's a gallery too. That's cool. Yeah, you haven't unlocked any <laughs> of the CGs, sadly, but and weird. Yeah. Let's go back to preferences. Also a handbook. That's cool. Yeah, that's a um, there's a free library for Renpy that wow. um, offers the functionality, and then we just customized it for the game. That's awesome. That's really cool. Well, I would say goodbye, Sarah, but uh, the next uh, entry for that I'm going to be playing is actually um, it's a game called Fear Me, and the developer unfortunately was unable to make it. So if you'd like to stick around and kind of play it with me and because i haven't played it so this is it's gonna be my live reaction and um talk a little bit more and maybe about your history of making games and stuff like that i'd be more than happy to have you otherwise yeah, sure. you can you can head off um, okay cool all right so we're gonna just gonna transition back to just chatting and um yeah i will load up the next game <laughs>